part of what we're doing is about prioritizing the ones that are actually going to yield us the best results. LA City Controller Ron Galbrin is the new kid on the block, but he's not letting his rookie status get in the way of some okay. lofty goals. What I've come to learn is that there really is such a great need for new technologies here in Los Angeles and for just updating what we've got. Well, there are sheet scanners where it will take the sheet and process it, mm -hmm. but there are others that are a wand where you just take the wand and you go like this, and that's it. And looking at the return on investment, what are we actually spending for our failure to invest in the right technology? And I'm going to be very focused on making that happen, along with making sure that we use this great data that we have, make it available to the public, but also crunch it in a lot of ways and learn a lot in the process. Remarkably, the controller's office has boxes and binders full of records dating back to the 60s in various rooms in City Hall, including the basement. Times change, and uh, there's a lot more information that is out there and available to everybody in all sorts of different ways. And so we may as well use it in a way that really helps inform people, helps connect people to their government, and helps people be connected to the services that they need. The controller is the city's watchdog and keeper of all financial data, including payroll. Galpern is already making sure L.A. residents know what's going on in City Hall. One of the things that I did in just the last couple of weeks was rolled out a database of salaries of all of the people who work for the city of Los Angeles, including of the DWP, the Department of Water and Power, and looking at the components, for example, that are for overtime and for uh, bonuses and for other kinds of things. Creating a central database is not cheap. The city computers and software are old, so bringing the data to the people is a challenge. But Galpern says it's not about reinventing the wheel. We've been in the process of looking at what other cities, counties, what the private sector is doing with the vast amount of data that they have. Data are a powerful tool that can hold electeds accountable. Galpern says he's ready for the challenge. So I see myself as having a really uh, unique opportunity and responsibility as the person who's come from the private sector to do all that I can to work with others to really energize uh, City Hall and city government and municipal government as a whole. If the LA City Controller is successful, then the winners will be the residents of this city. Having all of this information easily accessible will allow them to see how well government is working for them. For California Forward, I'm Cheryl Gachuiza.